हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू टॉप स्कॉलर्स टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अनादर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट द मोमेंट आई से एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट विच समथिंग विच कम्स टू योर माइंड इज द ओशन स्टूडेंट्स द ओशन आर द लार्जेस्ट टाइप ऑफ वॉटर बॉडीज ऑन अवर प्लान एंड इफ यू नोटिस दैट द ऑर्गेनिजम लिविंग इन द ओशन ऑल हैज स्ट्रीम लाइन बॉडीज these streamlined bodies helps the animals to move very easily in the water students streamlined can be simply said as tapering towards both the ends this reduces the friction felt in water making it very easy to swim most of the organisms for example the fish which you see here have streamlined bodies but there are some organisms who do not have streamlined bodies for example this octopus such animals are able to stay very deep in the ocean octopi have various many many different types of arms we can call them as tentacles which are helping them to swim in the water moving on whales and dolphins even though they look like fish but they are actually mammals and as they are mammals they do not have gills so without gills how do they breathe students as they are mammals they have lungs and they have blow holes which allow them to easily breathe at the surface of the water this is the reason from time to time a whale or a dolphin needs to surface because they cannot breathe under water moving on now let us talk about another type of aquatic habitat that are ponds and lakes students in ponds and lakes you find some types of aquatic plants the roots of these plants are highly reduced it helps the plant to stay in place also if you take a look at the stem of aquatic plants you will notice that they are very very long now why exactly are they long they are long so that the plant can rise up through the water and go up into the air also the stems are hollow and light this helps it to float on water now these stems they are long so that they grow up to the surface of the water to learn more about this topic download top scholars app